Hi there, Kevin Tharp. Today we're going to walk through setting up a custom template and what we're going to do is just create the the most basic HTML5 document that we can use so that we can use that as a base for doing uh, any exercises where we may want to use something that is just a stripped down version of HTML5 without anything extra. So what I'm going to do is I'm coming into my Aptana Studio 3 and I want to go, I want to open this uh, area of um, HTML and um, I'm going to go into templates and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with this HTML5.html document I'm going to open that and you'll see that it's got quite a bit of code um, but the code that I really want to use in there is just the very basic HTML uh, so this is what we're going to do first off before we make any changes we're going to save this as uh, save as and we'll just call it basic HTML5 and we'll save it into the same templates folder just because that's where it needs to be okay and then what we want to do is we want to strip out all of the information that is in there that we don't need in there and what we need is shown right here in this document this is just the very basic this is the minimum that you can have you got the doc type declaration you've got the HTML tag opening and closing you've got the head tag opening and closing inside it we've got the meta tag and the title tag and so those are the required elements and then you need to have the body opening and the body closing so just those few elements and what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip out everything else in here that is not something that we're going to need um, okay so I'm gonna like I said I'm just gonna strip out a whole bunch of this stuff here just so that we can have clean stuff uh, to be there we'll just put untitled document here or why don't you even put your name there that way it's always comes up with a title that's your name you can change that to whatever you want um, again and I'm gonna replace everything else that's inside of the head tag except for the meta uh, and the title so I clear all of that out. So all I've got is the meta character set and the title tag. So you've got a head opening and closing. And then I've got the body opening and closing. And I'm going to clean everything out of that because that'll give me the flexibility to do what I want the way that I want it. So this is what it should look like. And so we're going to uh, go ahead and save that and then we're going to go through the process of making it so that you can see it now if you watched my previous uh, video on uh, how to do custom templates you'll know that in order for us to create a new page from a template we're doing it under HTML um, this is where we want it to show up in here but in order for us to do that even though we've already created this and it lives in the templates area we've got to edit this templates.rb file and so what we do is there's some extra they've left some extra places down here for uh, us to go ahead and use and what this does is just tells Aptan and Studio where to find the templates. So we'll need to remove these comments. That's what those pounds are from each of these lines on one of these uh, extra templates or extra sections that have the code laid out. So take those comments out and you'll notice the color changed. And so we give this a name and I'm going to call this HTML5 Basic. And you need to be really careful about how you do this because um, it's going to, uh, um, if you don't get it exactly right, then it's not going to work. Okay, so the file type is HTML. The location is in the templates folder. And then this file right here is what we named it. And so we called that... Um, basic HTML5 dot HTML so we want to save this close and save and I want to close and save that 
Now what I have to do is I've got to uh, restart App 10 the Studio for that to show up. When you choose that, it's going to uh, shut down App 10 the Studio and then it's going to relaunch it on its own. And now you can tell if it's working because you'll go File, New from Template, choose HTML, and, and you'll see HTML5 Basic. If it's not showing up there, then what you will find is that you have done something wrong within that uh, uh, RB file. Um, again, and the RB file is in the templates, and it's uh, templates.rb. So you would have uh, edited something wrong in there. So go back through and look to see what it should be. Uh, but once you have that right, you can do File, New, Basic, and we're ready to start from there.